let's talk about post back programs and master programs and talk about a little bit how to decide if one of these programs is right for you. So a post back. Let's start there. So a post back is a continuation of an undergraduate degree. It counts towards your undergraduate GPA, so it will be added in there. But then also on your application to medical school, there will be your the summation of your post back GPA. However, that will be totaled into your undergraduate GPA because they are undergraduate level courses. There's a few different types of post back programs, and there's a few different reasons why somebody would choose one program or the other. So let's start academic enhancers. So this is a program that's designed very much with the pre-med in mind that did not perform very well in undergrad, but has most of the courses, the prerequisite courses for medical school. So in the academic enhancer, they understand that you likely have that prerequisite foundation, but you need to increase your GPA to be competitive to medical school. So in these type of programs, they'll likely have higher upper division science courses that you're going to take that will increase your GPA, but then kind of build upon that foundation that you have. Whereas in career changers, these programs are really intended for people that were not pre-med at all and do not have those science prerequisite courses and really need those so this is probably going to be a post back with a series of OCHEM, chemistry, biology, physics, all of those general prerequisites that you need. They kind of compound them into this post back program. A DIY post back program is like it sounds. You do it yourself. So you continue either with your undergraduate school or you go to a different undergraduate school and start building your own courses. So maybe you didn't do too well in organic chemistry, so you need to retake that. You could do that on kind of on your own time and your own putting it together with a DIY post back. Or maybe you just need to pad that GPA a little bit while taking some of the prerequisite classes. Doing something by yourself and making it work gives you a little bit more flexibility to work it exactly into your needs and your schedule. So master's programs are another way that applicants will try to increase their competitiveness to medical school. So there's a couple different types of master's programs. There's something called an SMP or a special master's program. So these are very, very much intended for pre-medical students that maybe do not have the strongest undergrad GPA, but really want to make sure that they're competitive when they apply to medical school. These special master's programs are often taken alongside first-year medical students or even at a medical school or have courses that are at least challenging enough to reflect the rigor of medical schools, basically giving admissions committees kind of an idea of how you'll perform in medical school. So you can see that there is inherent value here. If you do well in these special master's programs, then medical schools are able to see, wow, this person really has the academic abilities to perform well in medical schools. Lots of times these special master programs also have opportunities in research, or clinical experiences, even MCAT preparation. So if you're really trying to build your whole medical school resume and competitiveness, then a special master's program could be a good choice for you. There's also just different master's programs. And the most common one I see is somebody getting a master's in public health. Uh, these master's programs are just basically for anybody that wants a master's degree in whatever subject. You could do a master's in environmental science. You could do a master's in business administration or healthcare administration. These are going to add some value to your application to medical school if you perform well. However, it's not as strong of a value as a special master's program because the special master's program, again, medical schools have some idea about the rigor of the courses, whereas just a traditional different type of master's program may not have that same comparison or may be easier or medical school admissions committees may not know if these classes were really difficult or maybe they were taken online and maybe you took one at a time, things like that. It's not as reliable information for them. So if you really, really want to boost up your medical school application with a master's program, then a special master's is probably right for you. And obviously you need to perform very well. A few things about these. So the master's program is 
a master's GPA, and that is completely separate from your undergrad GPA. So on your application, you'll have your undergrad GPAs listed, science, non-science total, and then you'll have a different line that says your master's GPAs, and that's going to be your master's science GPA, master's non-science, master's total. So I kind of imagine it as a fresh slate or a clean slate. So maybe your undergrad GPA wasn't that strong and they can see that on your application, but then one line down, you have a really strong master's GPA. That can really help differentiate you as an applicant. Whereas, as I said, the post back is calculated into the same. So you have to make sure that you're taking enough classes, post back classes to really boost up that overall total undergrad GPA bottom line. Most of these programs can be pretty costly. Some of them are upwards of $30,000. So you have to, of course, plan accordingly. Can you actually afford these programs and which one's right for you? Sometimes the DIY post back works best in a financial situation because you're able to really make the classes tailored exactly to what you need and when you need them. Another important note is lots of times people will take a gap year and then they'll take that post back at the same time while they're applying to medical school. Ideally, you want to have the post back or the special master's program finish before you apply to medical school. And the reason for that is that if you have it finished, then when you submit your application to medical school, medical schools will see all of the grades from your post back or your master's program. If you're taking it while you're applying, those courses are not going to be on your application, so it's not going to be as impactful. You can update schools with your course grade. So let's say you finish the fall semester while you're in the application process. You can write them and say, I finished X, Y, and Z courses with A's and blah, blah, blah. And that can help. But the bottom line is when you submit that primary application, you ideally want to have those grades there. So maybe even consider waiting a until you've finished a semester in the post back or the master's program and then submit your application or ideally finish the whole program. So these are definitely some great programs out there. The best resources to use is the AMC post back search engine. So if you just Google AMC post back, then you'll find the first result on Google is an AMC website where it leads you to a search engine of all of these postbacks. And what's great is you can put filters in there by state, by type of program, all types of filters to start narrowing down which programs you'd be most interested in. That's how I recommend people start looking through these is go on there, say, I want to stay in Connecticut and start searching on the programs that come up in Connecticut to see which one would be most appropriate for you. Think about location, cost, type of program, other resources available in the program, like I said, MCAT prep, research opportunities, and also make sure to, when you're looking on this, is look at the start date, the end date, is it semesters, is it quarters, etc. And try to find the program that works for you and you think you would do the most well in. Try to apply to about three to five programs to make sure that you get into one and then make sure you're planning that medical school application around the post or a special master's program.